Looking for me? You must be Claire. Connie said you could use some help with a story. What are you, a journalist? Journalist, podcaster, take your pick. I've got a nose for bullshit. Speaking of, I'm looking into a deal between Rempart and Karkani. Tell me you're operating off of more than just your nose on this. I operate on facts. And fact is, this deal involves something Rempart calls their premium protection plan. They don't publicly list this service, so I want to know what it is. All right. Got any ideas on where to start? Of course. One of Rempart's reps will be visiting Karkani today to finalize the deal. All you have to do is download their files. Fine. I'm on it. I'm here. Anything I should know about this place? Karkani's in a pissing match with the NHS over a city contract, so security's tighter than usual. Shouldn't be a problem for the great Aiden Pierce, though. So you do know who I am? Of course I do. Big fan of the way you exposed the Chicago mayor, by the way. You could say it was, uh, inspirational. It made standing up to corruption seem, I don't know, possible. Inspirational, huh? You need a better role model. <laughs> Heard that one before. Why don't you just focus on finding that rep? We can worry about role models later. Found them. Great. Get hacking. I want those files. So, Claire, why are Karkani and the NHS at odds? They're fighting for control over the EPC. The NHS plans to have better and cheaper care, while Karkani plans to make money off of deportees. Don't watch the news much, do you, Pierce? Keeping up on healthcare politics isn't at the top of my to-do list. Looks like this premium plan offers targeted hits on client competitors. Dr. Leila Ibrahim is listed as the primary target. Any chance you know who she is? Sounds familiar. Let me look her up. But now, get out of there before someone catches you snooping around. that Dr. Ibrahim has been all over the news you don't watch. She leads the NHS response team that's taking on Karkani for the city contract. Which means Karkani hired Rempard to take out the competition. You're going to warn them, aren't you? There's a meeting about the contract today. I bet you could catch them there. Send me the location. I'll see what I can do. Damn. I think I found them. I'm too late, Claire. Rempart's people were already here. Dr. Ibrahim is dead. Shit. What about the rest of the team? Not sure. Have a look around. What is this? See this? I'm recording, so back off! I'm Dr. Ibrahim. My team and I have been approached by Clan Kel- Wait! Hey! Let go of me! Help! Cha, leave on a man. She won't make it. Get the rest loaded up and take them back to the market. Sneaky bastards. Rempart hired the Kellys to do their dirty work. We have to help those hostages. We can't just leave them. I wasn't planning on it. Any idea where this market might be? Only one place it could be. Leather Lane. The Kellys always hang out around there, doing and selling God knows what. All right, drop me a pin for their location, and I'll check it out.
And the hostages. How do they look? Alive. For now. Better do this quick. You'll have to run for it. Don't look back. Keep your head down and run. should never meet your heroes, but you really came through on this one. I'll make sure Connie knows. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a story to write, companies to tank. You know, for a journalist, you're not so bad. Do me a favor and keep me in the loop. It's always good to have one ear to the ground. Yeah, sure. I mean, for a crotchety old man, you're not so bad either. See you around, Pierce. So, it's been all over the news, and I'm sure we're all sick of hearing about it. But in case you haven't heard, Karkani's officially the primary medical provider for the EPC. Score one for private health care. Not that there's anything healthy or caring about their plan to make money off refugees. So how did this happen? And what does this mean for the future of the NHS? Just the person I was hoping to see. I'm working on another story. Interested? Who are you after this time? Rempart. He has a long history of buying up smaller companies for their tech and just pulled the same stunt right here in London. As of this morning, Eastron belongs to him. Even with their CEO in lockup, Rad still marches on. Can't say I'm surprised. What is so interesting about this acquisition? Normally, he only goes after weapons manufacturers. It seems he has a thing for deadly tech, but Eastron makes electric double-deckers. Which begs the question... Why is Rampart so interested in them? Bingo. Think you can sneak your way into Eastron to get some photos? I want to see what they're really up to. Fine, I'm on it. I'm here. Well, go on, get in there. And don't forget to take photos. We need evidence of what they're up to.
Nothing out of the ordinary here. You sure about this lead, Claire? Eastron markets themselves as eco-conscious hippies. Does Rempart seem like the do-gooder type to you? Keep looking. heard something. Just surrender! Get it off! Seems like the only thing they make here are buses. Is there something special about them, aside from being electric? Apparently, Eco buses are developed with efficiency in mind, using magnesium A to create the next generation of blah blah blah. I'll do some more digging on my end. Keep me posted. I'll see what else I can find. to be related to a Jackson Pierce, would you? Apparently it was his research that was used to develop that fancy material they use for the buses. Shit, that means any files they had on Jax now belongs to Rempart, or at least his company, which isn't much better. I've got to erase that data, just in case. Okay, but wait. No time. files aren't here. That's what I was trying to tell you. They won't mine all that data there. Luckily, you have me, and I know where Rempart keeps their servers. Sending you the address now. Okay, off the record, who is Jax, and why is Rempart after him? He's obviously family. If I know what's going on, then maybe I can help in some way? So you know, everything we discuss is off the record. And I don't need your help. It's a private matter. I'll handle it on my own. Okay, tough guy. So your privacy is more important than your family's safety, is it? I'm gonna hang up now. Fine, I'll drop it. I need to move faster. Don't blow out your hip. I know you're worried about Jackson, but I seriously doubt Rempart's had enough time to go through everything. Doesn't mean I have to give them any more. Once I've hacked the server, I'll patch you in. If there's as much data as you say, I'll need help wiping it. There it is. Target identified. Initiating the search protocol. 
Get to work. Patching you in, Claire. Shit. I think I just set off an internal alarm. Yes, you did. And here comes security right on cue. You're gonna have to fight. Fine by me. Okay, but don't go too far or I'll lose my connection. How much data's on that thing? More than either of us would be comfortable with. Just hang in there. Almost done. This is a nightmare! Done. Server's wiped. Get out of there, Pierce. Happy. Run your story, but keep Jax out of it. I won't mention him. Not too keen on tracking him down just to vet him. Besides, the real story lies with Rempart. If I'm lucky, we'll see a dip in his stocks once everything's out. I know you get a kick out of exposing these guys, but it's dangerous. You should have some protection. Like what? Carry a gun? Hire a bodyguard? Don't be ridiculous. I'm a journalist. If I'm not pissing someone off, then I'm not doing my job. Just saying. I'll see you later, Claire. Our right to be forgotten is no more. Bloom saw to that when they petitioned to roll back the GDPR. Oh, sorry, the UK GDPR. Opening the door for companies big and small to track our every move, swipe and like. The very same companies trade and sell our data, but to who? And what happens to all that information when companies are bought by someone like Rempart? Stay with me, London, and I'll show you. Okay, so I have an Albion contact, Miles. 
He managed to get his hands on some documents for me and is willing to trade for a favor. I already set up a meeting for you two. Slow down. Favor? I didn't even say yes. You just did. Come on, Pierce, I need you on this one. This story could reveal the truth behind the London bombings. Miles just needs help working a case. Fine. You must be Claire Waters' associate. I'm Miles. Or Sergeant Fletcher, if you like. Don't let the uniform fool you. I'm really an okay guy. And you are? Waiting for you to tell me what you want. Right. I need help tracking down a woman. Cora Taylor. I can't prove it yet, but she's connected to the London bombings. Keep talking. She caught me tailing her and gave me the slip. But I know where she likes to hang out. Fine. Say I find her, then what? Then you download her schedule so I can continue my investigation. Simple. Got it. I'll contact you once I've found her. Not her. Gotta keep looking. Found her. Well done. Now download her schedule so I don't lose track of her again. Shit. Can't let her get too far, or I'll lose the signal. Are you sure you have the right person? Based on this, I'd say she lives a pretty ordinary life. Evil is banal, my American friend. I'll contact you once I've finished my shift, and we can meet to swap information. Something is not right about him. Think I'll do my own investigation. Bagley, pull up Miles Fletcher's address. I found a match. Setting destination. Claire, what else do you know about Miles? Something about his story seems off. He's worked for Albion for a few years, stationed over on Downing Street. I can't tell you what size shoe he wears, but he's always had good intel. That's it? You're putting a lot of trust in a guy you hardly know. For what, a story? Oh, you don't get it. The bombings were an attack on my city, my home. And I won't rest until I know who was really behind them, because we both know it wasn't dead sec. I hope you know what you're getting into. Miles hasn't finished his shift yet, his place should be empty. Let's have a look around. Here we go. What are you doing? Seeing who Miles really is. And here I was thinking I was the nosy one. Miles has a file on you, and he sent it to his superiors. This is what I'm talking about, Claire. So Albion considers me a threat? I'm not sure if I should be flattered or concerned. Probably the latter. Claire, are you seeing this? Miles isn't working a case. He's stalking this woman. 
You've got to be shitting me. Ugh. See what else you can find. I want to make his life miserable. Hey, Cora. I just wanted to let you know I had a great time last night. Maybe we can go to that Italian place that just opened on your street. Cora? Are you ignoring me? Please don't do that. I can see when you listen to my messages. Are you ignoring me? Are you? How's your show? It looks like you're enjoying it. Mr. Pierce, is that you snooping around my apartment? Can't say I'm impressed. Didn't you think to check for security? How do you know who I am? Well, you've left quite a mess around town the last few days. Oh, and hello, Ms. Waters. Miles, you sleazy bastard. If you think you're getting away with this, you're dead wrong. I'm gonna let everyone know who you really are. I don't think you'll get the chance. In fact, Ms. Waters, I'll be seeing you very soon. Claire, he's coming for you. This isn't a joke. I need you to get somewhere safe while I deal with Miles. Okay, I will. But what do you mean, deal with him? What are you gonna do? Take on a whole Albion patrol by yourself? It shouldn't be a problem. I'll contact you when it's safe. You can't hide forever, Miles. I will find you. <laughs> No, you won't. You're too old. All washed up and you don't even know it. It's almost sad, really. How disappointing. Oh, I should have my security. <laughs> Why did she have to send Aiden fucking Pierce to do the job? I see you, Miles. Very funny, Mr. Pierce. Hello? Hello? Found you. Must be the documents Claire was after. We have a runner. Claire. Claire. I'm here, Pierce. Are you okay? Fine. Miles won't be bothering anyone anymore. I'll send you the documents now. Hope it was worth it. Pierce, I thought about what you said. You're right. I do need to be more careful. Especially if I want to live to see this story through. You have a bad habit of getting in too deep with no way out. You do good work, Claire. Thanks, Pierce. That means a lot. It's been a genuine pleasure working with you. Likewise. Keep your head down, and good luck with the story. This is where we are now. All over the city, Albion's taken stop and search to a whole new level. They stop us without cause and take what they please, whether it's our wallets or our lives. But Albion's abuse of power goes far beyond corrupt troops. How
how far you ask? Well, I'll show you on my next episode when I discuss the London bombings and break down what really happened that day.